efforts. Out of 28 postulants, 16 or 17 are ready to enter the novitiate. Let's consider the doubtful ones again. There's no regard. Reverend Mother, there's no doubt about her regard. The religious life is no place for the pious. You mean the pretentiously pious, Sister Bertha. There's Christina, and there's Maria. Well, after last night, I don't think there can be any doubt in your Reverend Mother's mind about Maria. I gave her permission to leave the Abbey for the death. I told you, Sister Bertha! All right. Reverend Mother, I brought Maria. She's just outside waiting. Sister Sophia, the mistress of the novices and the mistress of the postulants, do you not see eye to eye about Maria? How do you feel about her? Well, I love her very dearly, but she always seems to be getting into some kind of trouble, doesn't she? Exactly what I say. She climbs a tree and scrapes her knee, her dress has got her hair. She walks in on her way to pass her whiskers on the stairs.
poor sister Sophia heard me and opened the gate. Maria, very few of us were asleep. We could only think you had lost your right and to be lost at night on that mountain. Oh, mother, I couldn't be lost on that mountain. That's my mountain. I was brought up on it. Oh. When I was a girl, I would climb down that mountain, climb a tree, and look over into your garden. I'd hear the sisters singing on their way to vespers. Oftentimes, I would climb back up that mountain in the dark, singing all the way. And that brings up another transgression. I was singing yesterday, and I was singing without your permission. Maria, it's only here in the Abbey that we have a rule about singing. That's the hardest rule of all for me. Sister Margaret is always reminding me, but too late, after I've started singing. In that day, you were singing in the garden at the top of your voice. But mother, it's that kind of song. I came to the window, and when you saw me, you stopped. Yes, mother, that's been on my mind ever since it happened. It's been on my mind, too. I wish you hadn't stopped. I used to sing that song when I was a child, and I can't quite remember. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and poor woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream colored ponies and crisp apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles, wild geese that fly with the Thank you. 
expect it. I know what you expect, and I'll do it, I promise. Maria. If it is God's will, where am I to go? There's a family, a family of seven children. You like children. You're very good with them. They need a governess until September. Until September? Captain Von Trapp expects you this afternoon. He's a fine man and a brave one. He was given the Maria Teresa Medal for heroism in the Adriatic. A captain in the Navy? Oh, Mother, he'll be very strict. You're not being sent to his battleship.
Why did the last governess leave? Who knows? She just said, I've had enough of this, and walked out. Why? Was Louisa playing tricks again? Putting toads in her bed? She didn't complain of that, sir. Well, there's another one coming today, and this one can't walk out. Oh? She's coming from Nonburg Abbey with orders to stay until September. I hope you'll be at home for a time, sir. Just until tomorrow. The telephone call. Was it for me? No, sir. It's for Franz. Before you arrive, there's a call from Vienna. A fresh reader. I have the number in the pantry. Ah, I have the number. Oh, I shall be back in about a month with some guests. Yes, sir. Do you know many, sir? Just two. Air dead by Air dead by And Frau Schrader. Who wanted me on the telephone? It was the post office. They've got a telegram for you. It'll be delivered at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? It gives me just five hours to be nervous. The best guy to bring boy delivering telegrams. Well, that's one thing people are saying. If the Germans did take over Austria, we'd have efficiency. Don't let the captain hear you say that. He didn't whistle for us when his wife was alive. He's being the captain of the ship again. I can't bear being whistled for. It's humiliating. In the Imperial Navy, the boatswain always whistles for us. But I wasn't in the Imperial Navy. Too bad. You could have made a fortune. You were late here. Me, sir, but I don't know how to address you. 
You will call me Captain. Thank you, Captain. I forgot to return this whistle, Captain. I won't be needing it, Captain. Well, now that there's just us, would you mind telling me your names again and tell me how old you are? Now you're... I'm Hazel. I'm 16 years old and I don't speak to the governess. I'm glad you told me. We'll just be friends. I'm Frieder. I'm 14. I'm impossible. Impossible? Who told you that? Fräulein Josephine, for governess to go. I'm Brigitte. You forgot to tell me how old you are. Louisa. I'm Brigitte. She's Louisa. And she's 13 years old. And you're smart. I'm 11. And I think your dress is the ugliest one I have ever saw. <laughs> Nine almost. I'm Marta, and I'm 
just because your father's home. How did you know my father was home? Oh, I have a way of knowing things. You're wonderful. Oh, no, I'm not, really. Oh, yes, you are. I mean, how did you know two days ago that you would be here at just this time tonight with a telegram with moms? Well, every year on the state, you get a birthday telegram from a sister. You see, you are wonderful. Can I come again tomorrow night? Well, you can't be sure you're going to have a telegram to deliver here tomorrow night. I can come here by mistake with a telegram for Colonel Schneider. He's here from Berlin. He's staying with the Gallagher, but I... No one's supposed to know he's here. Don't tell your father. Why not? Well, your father's pretty Austrian. We're all Austrian. Some people think we ought to be German. They're pretty mad at those who don't think so. They're getting ready to... Well, let's hope your father doesn't get into any trouble. Don't worry about father. He was decorated for bravery. I know. I don't worry about him. The only one I worry about is his daughter. Me? Why? Hazel. How old are you? I am 
recognize him. Wow, even before it's made, this is the prettiest dress I've ever had. I hope he'll like it. I want to ask him for more material. More? Oh, no, not for me. For the children. For play clothes. The Von Schraub children never fly. The captain doesn't like them to get dirty. But they're children. They have to climb trees and roll around in the grass. Think of all the rocks and caves. The captain says the best exercise is marching. The children will continue to march. I hope you find them comfortable. Yes, thank you. There will be new curtains for the window in the alcove. They'll be home tomorrow. But these are very good. There will be new curtains. Will the captain be away long? I don't know. Of course he has to come home every time he has a new governess. I sometimes think the children get rid of their governesses just because they want to see their father. He must want to see them too. Ever since his wife died, they reminded too much of her. You can put that away. You won't be needing it. I won't? The captain won't have music here. He won't have music? And he used to love music. There used to be wonderful evenings here. His wife would sing, and he would play the violin or guitar. But now he shut that all out of his life. So that's why he is the way that he is. But to not have music? That's wrong for him, and wrong for the children, too. It will work out. The captain may marry again before the summer is over. That would change everything. They'd have a mother again. It's going to rain. You better close your window. Dear God, I know now that you have sent me here on a mission. I must help this family to become happy in thy sight. God bless the captain, Liesel, Friedrich, Luisa, Brigitte, Marta, and little Gretel. And oh yes, what was the other boy's name? <laughs> well, God bless what's his name. God bless. God bless everybody at Nomberg Abbey. God bless Norman's mother and sister Margaretta. And now, God, about Liesel. Help her to know that I'm her friend, and help her to tell me what she's up to. Are you going to tell on me? Help me to be understanding so that I may guide her footsteps in thy sight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I was out taking a walk, and somebody locked the doors earlier than usual. I didn't want to wake everybody up, so I said, your window open. You're not going to tell the Father, are you? Did you climb that trellis to get up here? That's why we always get up here to play tricks on the governess. Louisa can climb up with a toad in her hands. Liesl, were you out walking all by yourself? You know, if we wash that dress out tonight, nobody would notice it tomorrow. Then, this could be just between you and me. Here, you can put this on. Now take your dress in there and put it to soak in the bathtub. Then, come back out here and sit on the edge of my bed and we'll have a chat. I told you today that I didn't need a governess. Well, maybe I do.
Oh, yes. I love to see it all. And with you, too. I don't know any of your names yet, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure I don't get those straight for a long time.
you have German blood, haven't you? I'm not German. I'm an Austrian. There's going to be an Ashford. I warn you. Never will like you. Is that good for It's much more pleasant on the terrace. Start out with that. Very nice to have you in the barracks here again. Why is it important? Because I think she's 
soon to be a new mother. <laughs> oh, Fraulein, father's never going to marry her. Right? He couldn't. Why couldn't he? Because he's in love with you. Now, Brigida, that's just the kind of thing. You must know that. No, Brigida, no. Remember the other night when we were all sitting on the floor singing the Edelweiss song he taught us? After we finished, you laughed at him for forgetting the words. He didn't forget the words. He just stopped singing to look at you. Oh, and when he speaks to you, the way his voice sounds? No, Brigida, no. And the way you looked at him just now when you were dancing. You're in love with him. One more dance, Reynolds, and then up to bed. <laughs> oh!
talk about it later. Now go off to the children. Yeah. 
yourself by giving up. And you don't outwit the lion by putting your hand quote from Berlin, sir, in the lion's mouth. I'll follow them back. Max, you might as well talk to them. Go. Go. Gabe, I feel I know what's going to happen. Can I see things my way? Not if you're willing to see things their way. There's one thing you do better here than me to Indiana. Your sunset. I'm going to miss them. Captain? Oh, I beg your pardon. Maria. Gator, you didn't tell me Father Maria was back. I'm delighted. Captain, the children would like to know if they can take a holiday from their lessons so we can go on a picnic. Yes, I don't mind. That would make them very happy. And may I be permitted to wish you happiness too? The children told me you're going to be married. Oh, I'm afraid they're wrong. I'm going to get back to Vienna. I must start packing. If you feel you must, I'll tell Franz to have the car ready for you. I can do that. I'll be in the time for you. Goodbye, then. I'm sorry if I said something I shouldn't have said. You did say the wrong thing. But you said it at the right time. The children told me you're going to marry Frau Schrader. I'm afraid we couldn't go the same way. The door is shut. Sister Margareta always says, when God shuts the door. I know. He opens the window. Maria, why did you run away from the Abbey? What made you come back? The Mother Abbess. She said you have to look for your life. Often when you find it, you don't recognize it. No. Then all of a sudden, it stands before you. Yes. I look at you now. And I realize this is not something that has just happened. It is something I've known deep inside of me for many weeks. You do it too? What was it that told you? Brigida. She said that night when we were dancing. That wasn't any ordinary dance, now, was it? I hadn't danced since I was a very little girl. It's all different after you're all grown up, isn't it? Your whole life will be different now, Maria. I'll give you anything you want, take you anywhere you want to go, give you anything you wish. But I don't want anything. All I can ask for is right here.
38. Look here, the Von Trapp family singers. And here, all her names. Lisa, Friedrich, Louisa, Brigitte, Kurt, Marta, and Gretel. Why do I always laugh? Because you're the youngest. Lisa, I'm depending on you. Day after tomorrow, you must get all the children ready at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's when. Keep quiet! When is Captain Von Trapp returning? Who knows? When a man is on his honeymoon, these are not times for joking. It's been four days since the Anschluss, and this is the only house in the province that's not flying the flag of the Third Reich. You mean the big red rock? Yeah. Do you permit such remarks in this house? Who are you? I am Maximilian Zettweiler. First Secretary of the Ministry of Education and Culture. That was in the old regime. In the old regime, I was Third Secretary. Now, I'm First Secretary. Good, then you order them to fly the flag. Captain Von Trapp would it. I mean, I can take my orders only from Captain Von Trapp. You will take your orders from us. So will the Captain.
the captain gets it. I think you can trust me to get it to him. I have my orders. Sally, they're married. Oh, Franz, this telegram is to be delivered into the hands of Captain Von Trapp. Hard! Hard! Rolf! Even Franz! Yes, even Franz. Even me. Even everybody in Nonberg except the great Captain Von Trapp. If he knows what's good for him, he'll come over to the bright side. Rolf, don't talk like that! And if he doesn't, he better get out of the country. There are things that happen to a man like that today. He better get out quick. Cry out you won't. But just remember what I said before it's too late. And you remember too. Liesl, don't cry. How could I turn on father that way? Maybe he wasn't threatening your father. Maybe he was warning him. Liesl. What is it, Georg? I didn't think I'd have to face this decision so soon. Berlin has offered me a commission to the Navy. Well? I admit, it would be exciting to have a ship under me again. And it would be a relief to know that you and the children are safe. But that also means, please, Maria, help me. Whatever you decide will be my decision, too. Thank you. No, I know I can't do it. Of course not. We'll have to get out of Austria right away. We'll have to leave tonight. Now! Not without my family. And besides, you can't just pick up and leave. They'll be watching us now. We'll have to plan. We'll have to have time. Oh. Sir! Captain Admiral von Schreiber of the Navy of the Third Reich is here to see you. Thank you, Franz. They didn't give us time. So we'll have to make time. I'll bring him in. We must be careful. What's going on here? Stormtroopers. That's what I was afraid of, Maria. Max, you stay here with Gary. I need the children. Liesl, go get them, quickly. This way, Admiral. We can talk in here. Admiral von Schreiber, may I present Air Dead Pilot? Max, I think you know where I was Now, would you gentlemen care to sit down? We are here on business. Captain von Trapp, a telegram was sent out for you three days ago. I have just received it. I've already been home half an hour. Captain von Trapp has just returned from his honeymoon trip. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you, sir. The record in the war. Very well remembered by us. Thank you, Admiral. Let's get to the point. If you do not mind, in our Navy, we hold you in the highest commands. Now explain to why I'm here. And under no answer, the high command has sent me in person. That's very flattering, Admiral. But I have no time I'm to here to present you with your commission. I'm conscious of the honor, sir, but I... And your orders will report immediately to the naval base in Bremer Heap. Immediately? Oh, I'm afraid that would be impossible for you, Georg. Admiral, may I present my wife, the Baroness Lontrap. Madam? What I mean is, we'll be performing in the Kultzberg Festival Friday night. You see? Right here in the program. The Von Trapp Family Singers. It's been arranged by the Ministry of Education and Culture. Friday night. This is Wednesday. It's only a matter of two days. It might be possible. You could report to Bremer Haven by Monday. Admiral! There's a telephone I can use. Ah, this way, Admiral. If there are any questions, perhaps adding the weight of my voice. It gives here only the names of the children. It says the Von Trapp family singers. I am the head of the Von Trapp family. It's hard to believe Captain Von Trapp, you singing in a concert. There, Zelda, you may believe what you choose. It doesn't say here what you are going to sing. What are you going to sing, Captain? It's your privilege to come and hear us. I'd like to hear you sing now. Sing what you are going to sing like us. Sing! Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. Liesl, will you give us a do? Do, a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, my name, I call myself. Fa, a long way to roll.
The 
outrageous. The church has always been a sanctuary. Not the feast, of This is the third time they've searched the abbey. Look there! This is why I put back here in the garden. They always search inside, never outside. Is this God's house? Shh! Yes, darling. We must all be very, very quiet. We'll let